Hey loves, I'm Ilana and if you click this video looking for a super natural glueless braided wig, then this is the video for you. And let me just say, for all my ladies who do suffer from hair loss like myself, I've had alopecia for so long that I've never even had a style like this. Never. And because I now have zero hair, I really didn't think this was a possibility. So as my first braided wig, let's just say, my mind is blown and yours will be too. Especially because this is honestly glueless. All I did was put some styling foam around for the baby hairs, but she fits like a glove and trust me, is going nowhere. Now, she came courtesy of Instant Ariwa Hair. This is what the packaging looks like and I'm gonna be showing you some more in-depth clips of the inside and everything. But while I do that, I'm gonna just tell you some of the specs and a little bit more about the company because I love supporting small businesses, but more importantly, women-owned businesses. And this one is just that, a black-owned business out of Texas, and they hand make these wigs. Isn't that amazing? Like the detail is nothing that I've ever seen. And trust me, I have seen some braided wigs out there, even though I haven't personally worn one or owned one, and they normally look so bad that it's clearly not their hair. But let me tell you, I took this out a couple days ago to Orlando, went to the water park and everything, and I had non-stop compliments about this unit. Everyone said, I love your hair. I love your braids. Those are so beautiful. So now, for the full specs of this wig, it is a full lace wig, glueless, like I mentioned. The lace color on this is light brown, and the length is 30 inches. Yes, 30 inches. Trust me, I struggled getting full frame photos and video clips of it because she is that long, okay? Giving inches and full summer vibes. Now, the hair color is a natural 1B. Hair density is standard for me. Standard is 150. It doesn't say that, but I mean, it definitely does not feel or look thin, okay? Um, of course, it has baby hair, as I mentioned, and this one came in a size small cap. Now they do say it can range from 21 to 21.5. Normally I'm about a 21.5 and I think this kind of fell in a 21. So keep that in mind, she is snug. In the beginning, I felt like I had a full facelift when I put her on because literally, no joke, it looked like I had it glued on with nothing. Um, but I didn't want to exchange it for a medium because with hair like this being so long, it's going to have weight. Definitely nowhere near what I thought it would be. Like it's not heavy, but it is a lot of hair. So I worried about this thing falling off and not fitting me correctly. So I didn't want to up it to a medium because I knew once I cut the lace, I remove the combs on the inside and I remove the elastic band because honestly, I didn't even need it. That's how well this fits. So. For all my ladies out there with the petite small heads, don't worry, they got you, okay? It is going to fit. Now, if you do not own a canvas head, I highly recommend getting one. It makes it so much easier to see what you're doing and not mess up unnecessarily because if you're trying to style your wig while wearing it, it's a lot that can go wrong. You may not be able to see all the way and you may end up cutting more hair than you want to. So by putting it on the canvas head, it gives you the freedom and also the ability to see what you are doing. So take your time, cut as close as you can to the hairline, but give yourself some extra room just in case you want to cut a little more later, you always can. All right, so now let's talk hair details because everyone wants to know what their wig is made of no matter what wig it is that you're buying. So the hair is virgin human hair and the braid strands are made from premium synthetic Kanekalon braiding hair. Hopefully I said that right. But again, zero issues with it. I wanna say this is like the most zero maintenance wig 
that I've ever had because you're not having to style this. Yes, you can do many different styles with it. You can pull this back. You can put it in a half up, half down. I've done little space buns. And I'll probably insert a few of those different styles um, with photos in a bit. But yeah, you don't have to do anything to her, but literally throw it on and go. So big win there. I am really, really in love with this wig, more so than I thought I would. Not gonna lie, when I first got it, I was a little terrified because I didn't think it would look as natural or realistic as it does. But this is with nothing really on it. I mean, a little bit of powder, a little bit of tinting spray, that's it. Now, when you do get the wig, it is going to have the baby hairs braided across the front and the back. So don't be alarmed when you first put it on, like what is this funky braid in the front? You just undo it from the ends, trim it to your liking, pluck it, style it, however you wanna do it. And mine I did very thin, very light. I like a little more on the sides and less on the top, but that's definitely up to you and your preference. As I mentioned, it is already a light brown color, but I did use a little bit of this lace tint. So if you do have a lace tint, go ahead and use it. Just spray a light amount, make sure you dry it and it sets, and that will help you get a really good natural blend with your skin tone and color. Now, the knots on this wig is not bleached, and I appreciate that for one main reason, because this is such a like intense style, you know the hair is very tight and since you want it to be secure, you want this to be able to last you as long as possible. All wigs are an investment, right? So if the knots were bleached on this, it would make your braids very weak and most likely would start falling out after you start styling it and pulling on it. So this is a very, very strongly made wig. I am absolutely confident that this will last you over a year if of course taken care of properly. <laughs> Always remember that. But because they are bleached, like I said, I only went in with some very light technique, powder, lace tint, that was it. But honestly, for this wig, just being a styling of these baby hairs, cutting the lace, and just remo removing a few of the non-essential things on the inside, like for me, those clips are only really useful if you do have some natural hair and maybe you have it in a braided style already underneath your wig, then you might wanna use that as some extra security. For me, I don't have anything, so those combs just tend to irritate me. And you can just lightly go through the stitching and pull them out. Now, I really love the inside of this packaging. They give you a little pamphlet, which is like a care guide and also instructional for how to slay your wig. And for me being, you know, a first timer with the braided wig, I really appreciated this because I'm used to just using, you know, body wave, maybe curly hair, so I know how to take care of those, but braided wigs need a separate kind of care in order to make sure you are maintaining and keeping it as nice as possible. So definitely keep this handy. And if you guys like, I can do a wash routine on this just so you can see the step-by-step -step process in action and also the results in case you're contemplating getting a braided wig and may not be familiar like myself. So now I just wanna show you a couple close-ups of this hairline. So natural. Again, all I used was some foam on the sides for this baby hair. And do not worry if baby hair is not your specialty. It is not mine either. I struggle so hard with baby hair, trying to get it to shape and mold it how you want. Take your time. Honestly, these edge brushes are nice, but to me they're a little rough and I have very sensitive skin. So I don't always use them as often. I may use the back part for the little small comb is very helpful. But honestly, if you just have an old toothbrush, I much rather prefer using that because it's soft and you can take your time, press your finger and mold it into place. But just look how easy this is, you guys.
boom. Took a couple pieces, tied it. If you don't want the hair in your face, perfect. Like, honestly, I never realized how easy and like practical braided wigs were. I thought this would be crazy. Granted, not everyone is down for 30 inches, but no matter, I think the inches, I think it's worth having a braided wig in your collection at all times because if you just want to go you have an actual well-fitting glueless wig like this perfect literally perfect and again non-stop compliments on this hair everywhere I went it makes me feel like a Nubian princess <laughs> it's so pretty and I could not get enough of it. Like, I can't stop running my fingers through it, touching it. Even hubby was like, I can't lie, I love that wig. It looks amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out here with me and reviewing this gorgeous wig. Let me know what you all think about it. And if you have one already in your collection or if you're looking to grow one this summer, definitely check them out. Product links will be down below as well as that discount code. Don't forget about that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.